Give us an update that you feel on the urgency of the SEC to intrude in the free market known as Bitcoin. Well, Tom, it's great to be here, and I, I think that we can't determine whether to participate or not from a regulatory perspective based on price. Um, but I will say that all the, the activity in the crypto markets of late has definitely focused regulatory minds in Washington. So maybe we'll get some regulatory clarity finally around crypto. You and I studied Kenneth Rogoff of Harvard University, his book, The Curse of Cash. He said regulators any number of years ago get out front. We spoke recently to Professor Rogoff, and he was thunderstruck at how slow global regulation is. Why is there a tentativeness to address a curse? currency down 65 percent? Well, I think one of the reasons there's been tentativeness around crypto regulation is just it's difficult to figure out how, how it fits into our existing regulatory framework and whether we need to make changes. Um, but I think there's also been in Washington a bit of a desire to see crypto just disappear. Um, and, and I think people are realizing that that's not likely to happen. So maybe maybe that will help people to think about where regulation is appropriate. But as you said, I mean, you know, we have to bear in mind that people should be free to engage in transactions when both sides are willing to engage in that transaction. And so there needs to be a good reason for a regulator to step in the middle of that. Right, balancing free trade, balancing uh, freedom of financial innovation with the threat of fraud or the threat of some sort of financial instability. To that point, as you said, people hoping it's going to go away. It has not. In fact, it's become even more intertwined with the financial system in different aspects. How systemic has it become, and I don't mean from the actual just transactions of crypto assets, but the chip makers, uh, the banks that have crypto trading arms, do you have a sense of its clout in the financial footprint? Well, Lisa, I still think that crypto is, is quite small. And so we, we have seen some problems in recent weeks, and I don't think those have flowed into the more traditional financial system. But I think they've been reminders that if you do things in the crypto world, like over leverage or, or over expose yourself to a particular counterparty, you can really get into trouble. And those, those problems can be very severe. So it's a good lesson for people to have while crypto is still relatively small. How different is it to offer up regulation or try to control certain markets in a constructive way at a time, I don't want to say control, to guide certain markets in a constructive way during a bull market versus what we're currently in, in a bear market? Well, I think in some ways it's easier because people are more open to the idea that, hey, maybe we need to have better disclosures, maybe we need to have some rules of the road here. Um, so, I, so I actually think it's easier, and it, it's been a good reminder to people that the number doesn't always go up. Uh, Commissioner Pierce, help us here, and I'm going to uh, touch on James Buchanan, the laureate of your George Mason here, on the calculus of Robin Hood. A lot of us are worried that our children are on the couch with their laptops out, day trading, because the trading is free. And yet all the adults tell us, well, no, the trading's not free. What does the SEC desire in this modern high-speed world of free trading? Well, Tom, I have to say that, you know, I, I, I can't speak for the SEC. I can only speak for myself. But I think retail traders in the United States have it better now than they have ever had it. And so whatever we do, we need to bear that in mind. We need to, to not change things for the worse for retail. <laughs> Um, and I think that there's real value to allowing mm -hmm. people to choose among business models. And there's some people in Washington right. who would like there to be high commissions so that people wouldn't trade. But that seems, that seems sort of counterintuitive to me.